Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we came face to face with the legendary Pokemon of Nightmares, Darkrai. We were able to catch it and escape New Moon Island unscathed. And now there's only one piece of unfinished business left to take care of. There is a certain event that was originally planned for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. However, it was never released due to, as the game designers put it, they thought it was too complicated for players to understand, so they just didn't give us the event, even though it was fully finished and available in the game's code. I don't really understand how that is, and especially considering how difficult it is to obtain literally every other event exclusive Pokemon to keep track of all the data with timed events and whatnot, I just don't really agree with that mindset, and all the other convoluted ways that they've had us uh, transfer Pokemon, obtain Pokemon, all that jazz in the past. I don't know how this one was so incredibly ludicrous to where they thought it wasn't going to be possible, but for whatever reason they held off on doing it until now. Almost 20 years later, I can't believe it's been that stinking long. I don't think it's been all that long. It's been like, maybe like a friendly 15, trying to lie to myself a little bit longer about how old we are, I guess. <laughs> but yes, this event is only available, not through a certain event, so it's not timed exclusive, but it is available only if you have save data and completed game data from Pokemon Legends Arceus. So keep that in mind when trying to access this event. It's a bit unfortunate because like the events that require save data from other Pokemon games for Legends Arceus, you just need the save data for it. You don't actually need to beat the game, but for this one, you actually do need to go through that game in its entirety. However, I will tell you that that is 100% worth it because Pokemon Legends Arceus is honestly the most fun I've had out of a Pokemon game in over a decade, and I truly and sincerely mean that. So, if you are ready to go, head back to your home. If you go upstairs, you'll see that there's a Pokeball on the floor right next to your patented, officially licensed Nintendo Switch. You found an Azure Flute. If we go into- NOT OUR KEY ITEMS! If we go into our bag... The Azure Flute is a flute that puts out echoing sounds that do not seem to be of this world. No one knows who made it. No one of this time period, anyway. So, we have ourselves a special flute, and we need to bring it to a very special location. I think you know where that may be. I'll see you in a moment as I scale Mount Coronet one final time. Make sure you have all the necessary preparations before heading out there. And make sure you don't run into Doe Duo along the way. <sighs> we have made it. I'm sure people have dreamed of being able to encounter this event over the years. And now, that time has finally come to fruition. Once you are ready, step into the light. Your Azure Flute is making a sound. Would you like to play the Azure Flute? You played the Azure Flute. glowing stairway appeared.
I love that anime. The God of Pokemon, Arceus! It has 120 base stats in every single category. This Arceus is special in which it is the very first Arceus, aside from one from another dimension or timeline, that is not given to you at level 100. Previously, Arceus' only flaw, if you could even call it that, was that it could never uh, be EV trained because it was already at full level, so you couldn't actually adjust its stats in any sort of way. So this is one of the first times you are actually able to have your own custom Arceus of your own design. For 20 levels or so, you gotta remember who's in charge here. So then, can I luck out and catch the god of Pokemon on my first ball? Let's find out! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Well, so much for having a grand epic battle of epic proportions after waiting all these years I just can't hit it in a single stinking ball without having to do diddly squat! Are you serious?! Sure! Why not? The most... Mellow, boring, mundane finale to one of the most mundane games that the Pokemon Company has ever released. I guess that's all she wrote. <laughs> Manaphy grew level 72! Oh goody, there was a 69 in there. Arceus' data was added to the Pokedex. The Alpha Pokemon with its one pixel footprint even smaller than Dark Rise. It is told in mythology that this Pokemon was the first Pokemon born before the universe even existed. And now it's our plaything. That's gonna sit in a lunchbox for all eternity. And yeah, I, I, I guess that's it. There's not really anything else we could do here. We could look at the horizon very nicely. Take a selfie. Be like, just captured God on a Tuesday. Except it's Friday when I'm recording this. Hashtag no biggie. Hashtag just midnight things. I suppose that's it. <laughs> I wish I had more of a grand speech, but that just sort of threw me off guard. I don't know what happens to the staircase after we get here. Just running slowly up and down the staircase looks very funny, just to ruin the tension even more. Does it just disappear now? Because it is blocking off the access way into the rest of the spear pillar, even though there's not really anything else for us there. If we go back in. Wow, they really did the bare stinking minimum for this event. Be like, okay, here's the staircase. Okay, here you go. Go by. You already played the better game. We're moving on to Gen 9, I guess. I guess that's it. It's... I don't know. I don't want to dog on this game more than I already have. And I really, truly don't think I have anything else to contribute that people haven't already been saying to death over and over. This was not the Gen 4 remake that I was expecting, but we also got something entirely unexpected alongside this game that I absolutely cannot say anything bad about because it completely reignited my hope for the Pokemon franchise. And just even coming back here to this location after playing that game, these locations have completely different meanings to me now. We are literally walking along the footsteps of legends. And it just goes to show that there's so much more to this world of Pokemon that we still have to discover. I look forward to experiencing each and every chapter whenever they may come and whatever they may bring. For now, though, I guess we're done here. My Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum is officially finished. 
Thank you all so much for watching. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later for something entirely new. Good night. Still can't fly in the spear pillar. Thanks, Nintendo.